Hey, welcome back. We're at chapter 21, verse 28 to 32 in the book of Exodus. Uh, now we've gone through the Ten Commandments and these different applications. We're getting some kind of cases to help the judges apply those things in, in a particular way. So let's read it out. If an ox gores a man or a woman to death, the ox shall surely be stoned and its flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall go unpunished. If, however, an ox was previously in the habit of goring and its owner has been warned, yet he does not confine it and it kills a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned and its owner also shall be put to death. If a ransom is demanded of him, then he shall give for the redemption of his life whatever is demanded of him. Whether it gores a son or a daughter, it shall be done to him according to the same rule. If the ox gores a male or female slave, the owner shall give his or her master 30 shekels of silver and the ox shall be stoned. Okay, several bits here. Now remember, the ox is a very expensive animal. It was expensive then, it's expensive today. And so this is extreme, it's kind of, this is giving a, a example case from the kind of the heaviest, heaviest duty stuff you probably would own on down. And so we're using the example of the ox. And it's kind of like, uh, so, you know, the ox gores somebody, but it's a new thing. So if your ox mistreats somebody, you'll, you'll be punished. But notice, if you knew about it, if this was a problem before and you, would, and you didn't warn, you didn't guard that from happening again, um, like maybe it, it, somebody, maybe the ox tried to do it on a previous occasion and somebody gets killed finally because you didn't take care of it, like you didn't take care of your pit bull, you didn't take care of something, uh, now you're gonna, it's gonna be a life for life. Very interesting here. See, the owner is put to death too. So this is lifting the value you know, of, of life. Uh, we don't treat each other this way. So it's kind of like uh, maybe a little modern analogy. You have a car and the brakes go out. You've never had a problem with the brakes before. The brakes come out, uh, uh, stop working suddenly, and you've maintained the car, but there's just a mechanical failure and you crash into something. Well, yeah, you're probably gonna have to pay higher insurance rates and, and because you're, you're at fault, it was your vehicle. You have a certain degree of responsibility. But if your car was in trouble, if you knew your brakes were out and you went and you run over and you accidentally kill somebody, and then it's found that you know you actually knew your car was unsafe to begin with, yeah, you might actually go to prison. You might actually be put up for a death penalty potentially, or at least manslaughter because you knew better. So there'll be a much more severe penalty. And that's what we're looking at here is uh, basically you have responsibility for your animals. Uh, interesting piece here, we're uh, stoning the ox to death in verse 32. Uh, that's kind of the penalty for taking a human life. And so now it would be quite a lot of work to stone an ox to death. So um, reading the different commentaries, we're thinking that sometimes they might have killed the ox uh, in some other way that was more efficient than stoning it to death. But, uh, but the penalty is stoning, the penalty is death. Uh, and the penalty of death by stoning, that's there for a purpose because that's really pointing to the value of the lives that have ever taken. This is uh, not allowed that the animal would continue to live. All right, hey, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Carrying right on. I hope you're finding this very interesting actually because we're actually getting some applications of some of this into particular cases uh, set, of course, thousands of years ago. But I think there's a lot of insight in it and there's more to come. See you tomorrow.